This is Carrie Sherrill reading a poem entitled Bird Study. This painting takes my breath away. A marble slab in a lab. Birds supine and eerily quiet. No hoot of owl, no song of meadowlark, no bickering over seed or suet. Birds claw tagged and numbered, beautifully still, carried here by gentle volunteers. Spring migration surprised them on their flight path, mirrored buildings in bright morning light, the speeding L, PCBs along the shore, lead shot in their prey. Note the glass-headed stick pins holding down small blue and yellow feathered bodies. Think of Ukraine, those who dare to flutter, small and weak, they migrate on, pull away from the pins that bind, away from the grandmother in her babushka who stands in the rubble of her home, away from the husband with empty eyes, his new machine gun at the ready, away from the dreamers who stay, believing war will end. If they do not fly now, they have no chance of rescue by volunteers, or even to lie in state, identified and cataloged, remembered as wholly beautiful. My name is Sharon Auberly. Um, I was Poet Laureate of Door County from 2017 until 2019, and the name of my poem is Something Like Love. The eyes, the eyes, one small otter peering out from kelp strands straight at me. Wary eyes, not sad, not happy, asking without words, what are you doing about our world in travail? The sea forest in all its fragility swirling around her, sheltering, feeding, life-giving, those animal eyes softly accusing, yet burning with something. Some might rightly say soul, but maybe also something like love. Hi, I'm Peter Sherrill, reading Marine Life from Shore to Floor, Watercolors by Peggy McNamara. Plato believed that the eyes emitted a gentle visual fire that, combined with ambient light, allowed aspects of the object to contact the soul. Enter the gallery as if you were slipping off the stern of a dive boat, scuba tank heavy on your back, mask held snug against your face. There is that silky water music. That and the sound of your breathing will sustain you in this hour. See how light ripples from the walls. The scuba tank is weightless here. So are you. Even the mask on your face vanishes in shimmer and radiance. Languid, meandering colors sustain you in this hour. Light ripples from walls, pastel sweetness cajoled by her gentle visual fire, a caress that lets these creatures confess their shimmer and radiance, the languid meandering colors that vanish if not stoked by a fire eye that knows the secret questions, radiates gentle eye fire, cajoles these creatures, caresses a confession of colors known only to the privileged few, those with the gift of fire underwater, keeper of the secret questions that stoke radiance from silence. Her incantation, Arapaima, leafy sea dragon, gulper eel, conjures colors known only to those privileged few turned into a gift. And we who dive with her are beneficiaries, the initiates to secrets lifted from silence. We hear sea cucumber, blue-ringed octopus, angler fish, and know their colors, sweet enough to be wrapped in bright cellophane. We who dive with her 
beneficiaries initiated to secret visual fire, honor it by leaving the gallery as if climbing onto the stern of a dive boat. I'm Mike Orlock from Sturgeon Bay. I'm the current Poet Laureate of Door County. This is a poem that I wrote about Peggy McNamara's watercolor Gulper Eel, a poem I entitled Gulping Eel's Exegesis. Is underwater like outer space a place no one can hear a scream? Do those poor creatures your diet features utter surprise or cry their pain when the needle teeth in your cavernous mouth, large as a crypt and just as dark, bite into pulp without hesitation before you swallow without mastication? consuming them whole in a single gulp. You, pelican of the darkest deep, you glide, you swerve, you dive, you curve your sinuous body, just a glimpse of what this world truly portends for any living creature seduced by the beauty of your glow. Death comes from above or below in a moment's merciless measure. And what we believe of ourselves and God's plan is some other thing's devilish pleasure. I'm Ralph Murray. I served as Door County's Poet Laureate from 2015 through 2017. My poem is based on Peggy McNamara's painting, Three Octopus, and the poem is called An Indefinite Hue. The way they change their color to mimic their background, the way you don't know just where they stand, arms reaching out in all directions, hoping to shake your hand maybe as they scuttle through shifting sand. Who knows what's in their tremendous brains with all that ocean to fear? Still, this much seems pretty clear. You and I must taste the salty underlife before we begin to understand. And then, I suppose, we'll choose forever which color to be as we rise up upon the land.